the first portable video game console I ever owned was a Black DS Lite. I received it as a gift from one of my hands and I played the shit out of it. Having a blast with new Super Mario Brothers and where you were touched, chatting on PictoShot with other kids in my school, and experimenting with ombrios and chits on my special, totally legitimate card. But as time went on and I took my DS Lite with me literally everywhere, the console's condition started to deteriorate, with scratches and physical damage appearing through its poor plastic body. GameStop? Oh man! Do you remember when GameStop sold games and not this? Back then they had this deal where they let you swap your DS Lite with a DSi by adding a small amount of money. And I sure as hell jumped on that. 12 years old me really wanted to play with these stupidly low resolution cameras and got the console for that reason alone, even if that meant losing the so-called GB hey-hole. But there was something little fun we didn't know about the DSi that would forever change a life. This little icon over here. I wanna be a panda bear, so freaking bad. <laughs> the year was 2007. Yoshiaki Koizumi, known for his work as the director for Mario Beat Janitor, started working with Ideaki Shimizu, known for his sound engineering work on Super Mario 64. And after the duo finished working on Super Mario Galaxy together, they started a secret project, mostly for fun. A Wii not taking tool? They immediately noticed that taking notes on a Wii was a pain in the ass, so they decided to make the software work with a DS. I didn't want this to rhyme, but it did. You could write notes on a DS and then transfer them to your Wii to see them on the big screen. Then Koizumi had a brilliant idea. We have a Mimo pad now, so why not make a flipbook? The DS has a microphone too, so why not add sound? After just two days, a working prototype was done and fully working, and they decided to show it to Iwata, which went like... Guys, we have this thing called the DSi coming out. It's basically a DS with one hole. This is perfect for it. Iwata decided to partner with Athena, a Japanese internet service company, to help them host the user-made flip notes and moderate the platform. The software was then test released in Malaysia on October 17, 2008, and after that it was published in Japan on December 12, and then in August of the next year in North America and Europe. So we now know how Flipnot was developed, but what was Flipnot in the first place? Introducing the 2008 internet. It was a weird place. YouTube was three years old, and to give you some context, 2008 was the year Rick Rowling got really popular here. Most of the internet discussion was still done in forums, and smartphones were just starting to take off. I mean, the iPhone was six months old. What Flipnote was, in that day and age, was a free application that lets you create short videos and animations available on a console that was $169 at launch. You had 999 frames and 4 sound samples to express yourself before Vine and TikTok were even a thing. Flipnote was a portal to internet culture. Almost every single internet meme or phenomenon of the early 2000s has a Flipnote version, and watching Flipnotes is basically like exploring a time capsule, one that was finally closed on May 31, 2013. Yes, you can still make Flipnotes now if you have the app downloaded, or if you can get it through means. And you could transfer your Flipnotes to the 3DS app. More on that later, that thing got some issues. But the official servers are dead, and you can't really use the app as intended. Meet Pseudomemo. Pseudomemo is seriously one of the greatest community efforts I have ever seen. Now, provided you have the Flipnote app on your DSi or 3DS, or you find a way to install it, all you need to do is change the DNS to your custom one, and you can connect to their servers, which are both interesting and weird. Interesting because just like we MM5. This project to bring back that services shows you how dedicated a community can be and why preserving history is so fascinating and important. And weird because Among Us Flipnotes. Yeah. Going back to the official route, yes, Flipnote was a big success for Nintendo. And when in 2013 they announced they were closing the servers, people were enraged. Nintendo decided to keep up at least the online gallery to see the existing Flipnotes for some years. 
Their main goal was to move people to their new Flipknot version, Studio 3D. Now, that app was a dumpster fire. It was released in 2013 in Japan and set to release the same year in Europe and North America too. But then it was delayed for two to three years depending on your country. It was also made available for free just like the DSi one, but only if you had a club Nintendo membership or else you'd have to pay 200 points. This combined with the fact that people in 2013 were doing this didn't really help its success. Flipknot at its core is a 2000s product, but still, fans, like me, would love to see it reborn. I personally think the Nintendo Switch could be THE platform for the Flipknot renaissance, especially if you combine it with some kind of app that would let you pay your phone and use pictures and music from it. It could be some kind of TikTok animated thing, I guess. But hey, that's up to Nintendo, they always listen to fans, right? R right? I mean, it's, it's not like they killed Mario a few days ago. They definitely care about us. <laughs> but seriously though, Nintendo Employee 1337, if you're watching this, a new Flipknot app could probably drive up the Switch sales even more. And you already have the code base from the 3D version, so it's not like it will take a lot of effort on your part. They are low-res animations, you could probably run the f***ing service on Windows 95 and that would work fine. I'll go as far as to launch a bring Flipknot back hashtag, but my channel is pretty small. By the way, thanks for the 1000 subscribers, I'm super happy about this. But anyway, it's not like this hashtag is gonna go trending unless someone big notices it and tries to help us, I guess. <laughs> but hey, this was everything for today and I'm gonna go watch some Among Us Flipknot. <laughs>